Praise the Lord, everybody. I just wanted to come on for a few minutes today to talk to you about do not worry about your life, what you will eat, drink, or wear. Our scripture reference is coming from Matthew 6, 25 through 27, and I will read it for your hearing. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Amen. In these particular scriptures, it gives reference to worrying. The Bible says, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, and what you will wear. Jesus does not want us to worry. Worrying can cause health issues. It can weigh you down. It can overwhelm your mind. It can steal your joy. And it can diminish your faith. Oh. The Bible says, look at the birds. They neither sow, reap, or gather into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Of course we are. Of course. <laughs> we are the apple of God's eye, okay? God promises to supply our every needs. So don't worry about anything. It's not good for you. If you really believe with everything in you that God's got you, then your mind will be at peace. I mean, if you really believed that God's got you, you wouldn't have a care in the world because you already know who your daddy is. It is up to us to trust God and know that he will be there whenever you need him. He loves you and only wants the best for you. He wants to give you good gifts to his children. It makes him happy when he gives and blesses his children. You know that feeling you get when you do nice things for your children, or when you give them gifts and when you do things for them, or when you buy them something that they really wanted and they really appreciate it by giving you a big hug? Well, that's how God is. He wants you to thank him, praise him, and worship him. Put him first. I mean, really make him the Lord over your life. Where and who do you really put your trust in? Declare and decree that you can depend on God. I'm going to say that again. Declare and decree that you can depend on God. Declare and decree that favor, that the favor of God is all over my life. Mm, hallelujah. Declare and decree that God's blessings are in my life today and every day. If your word abides in me, Lord, and I abide in you, then I shall ask what I shall, and it shall be done for me and for you. You need to remember that you have the power in your mouth to say and speak whatever you want. So if God takes care of the birds and God takes care of the fowls of the air, surely he is going to take care of you. But you got to believe that he's going to take care of you. Where's your relationship with him? Talk to him. Tell him, say, God, I know I got some things going on and I need you, God, to continue to take care of me. I need you, God, to continue to watch over me. I need you, God, to continue to answer my prayers and then thank him for it. God, Daddy, Jehovah, Jireh, whatever you call him. Just remember that when you talk to him, he does talk back to you. It's just a matter of whether you're going to listen or not. Amen. So just believe that God is your Jehovah Jireh. Amen. So with that being said, just know that God loves you and that I love you. And if you need prayer, just let me know. Okay, bye.